Yeah, that's the old Jared Padalecki. Yeah. <laughs> Is he in his chair? Yeah, I, he uh, was right before you. We're, we're going to say essence or butt print? Yeah. Essence. Kept it nice and warm for you. Welcome back to San Diego Comic Con. Can you. you share with us about what's coming up this season? Not a thing. Oh. <laughs> uh, well, I think where we left last season um, was, was a lot of a lot of balls in the air and a lot of those threads and then the other metaphor I'd come up with. Um, so this season is really about is from the boys' point of view, can they get mom, mom back? Is mom alive? They have to deal with the Lucifer's son, Jack. Is he going to be Lucifer incarnate, or is he, or is his, since his mother was a, a nice woman? Is you know, so there's a whole sort of nature versus uh, nurture versus nature component to that. Um, as far as the boys are concerned, Dean is pretty much convinced when the season starts that mom is gone. He's bereft. Um, feels bad about it, but he's convinced that she's gone. Sam, on the other hand, says, this kid opened the rift once, he can do it again, maybe mom's alive, we can go rescue him. And they butt heads over that. So a lot of this season is sort of about, where last year was family coming together with the return of mom, and Castiel was in the fold, and we kind of blew all that up at the end of last year. Um, so this is really about how do you how do you mend the rifts? How do you, you know, how do you deal with a family that got torn asunder? Um, so emotionally, that's kind of you know, and, and that's where we pretty much start every year is what's what's the emotional challenges for the boys? And you know, the more uber story, we try to service whatever that emotional story is. Um, so. I hope that's helpful because I can't tell you a whole lot more. How much of the story will be in the Rift world versus in Sam and Dean's real world, and how long will we stay looking at the Rift world in the season? Uh, we basically do more cutaways to the Rift world or what's going on there. We don't want to get Sam and Dean in there too quick because then we run out of story. Um, so mostly we're in the real world, um, but there's a lot of not only Sam and Dean but other entities that are trying to get into the Rift world for all sorts of reasons. Um, so while most of it's done here in this world, it's sort of always, a, you know, it's always there. It's, a, it's about people trying to get in there or trying to get out. When we go to the Rift world, it's really about how do we, you know, how do we get out of here? Uh, there is one character that we're bringing back in a kind of really interesting way that is going to try to help open the rift. And I won't, we're just going to have to wait on that one. But, uh, who that is, but you can all guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, one of the things we do know is that they tease the crossover with the Scooby Doo. Yeah. So, how excited are you guys to be able to do this? And how do, can you tease anything about that? Um, that really came about a Andrew. Uh, knew some guys over Warner Animation and they floated this idea and then we took it to Warner Brothers and said what do you think everybody got excited about it uh, the guys have already recorded their parts and I think the Scooby-Doo people have already recorded their parts we saw an animatic for it it's, a, it's one of our bigger swings I mean it's going to be I would say three quarters of that episode is animation I've seen sort of the tests of Sam and Dean working with Scooby. <laughs> it's, it's pretty fantastic. Uh, we're really excited about it. I mean, some of the times we've done these things, you know, going, I don't know, this could be the end of the show, you know. Um, this one, I'm pretty, I'm pretty confident that people are really going to like it. I mean, I'm, you know, I'm just really excited about it. It's a long process. We, we start working on this really last January, and we won't get the final animation until this coming January. So, you know, you can't you can't really do these every year, but, uh, you know, and we've been talking about it for years, so finally we managed to pull it off, I think. <laughs> so this past season, they introduced the British Men of Letters. It changed everything, I feel like, for Supernatural. Are we going to see other organizations from, I don't know, Africa, China, like other Men of Letters? Um, we will keep referencing uh, 
men of letters, but nothing is big. I mean, last year the British men of letters were really a big part of the, the story. Um, we don't have plans for anything that that big this year in terms of uh, organizations or whatever. You know, we felt uh, last year was, was physically a big year. Yeah. Uh, and we're, we're trying to make it a little more personal this year, but also when you visit the, these other worlds, um, they, you know that, that has a uniqueness to it. You know, I shot the uh, that uh, alternate world for the last episode, and that, that was really challenging. You know, I mean, production-wise, it was a challenging thing to undertake, um, and that's kind of I think where our our big books are going. So Sam and Dean are going to be time travelers, basically. <laughs> well, <laughs> I don't know. Time's relative, I guess, if you're in an alternate universe. But yeah, you know, yeah, they, they, these kind of things kind of blow my mind. You know, oh, yeah. that's why whenever we do a time travel story, I'm always the one in there going, "Yeah, but if it's this, how can we like that?" You know, and then it's because I have a hard time wrapping my head around it. So, uh, but this is a little easier because it's, it's, it's more alternate than. You know, time changes. So. Can you talk like uh, uh, the idea for the new spin-off? Like the story? Uh, the spin-off is uh, Sheriff Jody Mills, uh, her two orphan girls. Uh, we're adding a third character who's gonna be a tad younger than uh, than the other two girls, um, who is a uh, the granddaughter of Missouri Mosley for Uber fans. That was our psychic from Year One, I think. Um, and uh, she has psychic abilities as well. The, um, it's not a road show the way Supernatural is. There'll be more sort of in one place and dealing with a, you know, kind of a hellmouth and a, again a, a portal to another world. And, and, and the, uh, where Mary went into Apocalypse World, this is kind of more monster world that they have to deal with. Um, so. You know, they've been talking about a spin-off for years, and she thought Jodie's a really beloved character, and that would be a good way to go. And it's a very sort of female-empowered show. Um, and we think that would be a, a nice thing to do after the 12, 13 years of testosterone. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. And good luck with Wayward. With the, it's going to be amazing. Who knows? <laughs>